Forester Pro Series versus Steel Rollomatic ES. Um, purchased this Forester bar maybe two years ago, and I'm going to say, it, well, I know exactly it's got about 30 hours on it. I have an hour meter on the saw that it saw the main use on, and it has 24. Uh, the rest of the time was on that little saw right there, which is an 026 steel. Now this is a 24 inch Forester, uh, 3 eighths. This is a big bar, large mount steel. Uh, I failed probably 60 trees with it and then began milling with it. Uh, the bearings did not go out. The sprocket exploded. I have seen bearing failures uh, not a bearing failure. I was able to recover some of the bearings. Um, this is supposed to take Oregon tips, so I'm going to put an Oregon back in it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are traces of grease out there. Before this failed, I actually greased the, the tip. Um, of course, ground the rivet out ground it both sides and then drive it out with a punch. That's all it is to change it. Uh, the point of this video, uh, Forester bar has approximately 30 hours on it. The steel bar you see laying there is, uh, that's the large tip model which has been discontinued. That bar's probably got a hundred hours on it and it's not even got a greasable tip on it. And it has seen hard use. It's been bent once uh, but still going strong, still smooth. Uh, the bar on this little saw, uh, it's probably got 200 hours on it. No grease, no way to grease it. It's still going, no problems. Uh, is it worth the money for the downtime? The money saved, the downtime, I don't think so. Uh, I was able to throw a 20 Duramatic steel on my saw and finish the job I was doing when this failed. But uh, I will put it back together and we'll put it back to use. And You know, I have it. But that's something to think about. Uh, the wireability and durability of a steel bar. Whatsoever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Thank you for watching.